Hey, it's time for another video about A Course in Miracles. Um, this video is going to be about surrendering and letting go and inviting the Holy Spirit to come into you and help you. Now, of course, the miracles doesn't really use the word surrender, and sometimes you say this to people, and they say, "Well, the course doesn't say surrender, so it's not about surrendering." Uh, it's the course means many things that it doesn't say, and uh, doesn't necessarily use the specific words, even though it is basically conveying a certain meaning or message, so <coughs> so in my uh, practice of the Course, I found it very useful to um, surrender, and for me what that has meant is um, it doesn't mean being obedient to God or as like um, somebody who has power over you you don't sort of you're not sort of giving up your freedom or you're not giving up um, your free will or being subservient or um, sort of giving away your rights or anything like that that's sort of you're waving a white flag in a war zone and <laughs> Um, hoping that the people will stop attacking you, or that they'll you're you're giving them permission to take over and and control your life. That's that's not what it really means. Um, we do need to let go of the ego, and that means anything that you're doing that is ego oriented is a candidate for something to be surrendered or let go of. It's really more like um, rem removing the blocks to love and uh, allowing and um, letting go of attachment to things, uh, stopping being controlling. Um, uh, setting other people free and setting yourself free at the same time as part of um, trying, just trying to find your own peace <laughs> you know if you have like a, a stressful situation or you're upset or something sometimes you just have to surrender and just let go and drop it um, so what I often did and I still do is I would I quite often did this as I laid down to go to sleep at night and I would lay there and talk to the Holy Spirit and um, be thinking about the day's stresses and the emotional turmoil and things like that and so I would just um, I would want to be free of that so I would become willing to to sort of give up trying to control my life trying to be the one who decides everything, trying to fix everything, um, just all the, being sort of caught up in the ego and, and realizing this is not making me feel good, it doesn't make me happy, I'm, I'm stressed out and upset and I just want to just find some peace, so I'm just going to let it all go and, and you just kind of, you just kind of give up. Um, and often in my mind's eye, I would often have this picture of someone who, like, you kind of get to the end of your rope and and you're just about ready to give up. And I often see, like, my hands go up and I'm just, whatever, I, I'm okay. <laughs> kind, of a, kind of just a, sort of an admitting to, to failure, which is a good thing, because that, um, it's it's by be constantly believing that you can succeed on your own and that you can control things and make things happen that that shouldn't happen and things like that that you get tied up in stuff and and then admitting that you cannot do that and you do not have this control and 
you can't stop somebody from being a certain way and um, you you can't seem to fix the situation you just have to just throw up your hands and just <sighs> whatever what the fuck I, I, I'm done I, I give up and you just have this it creates this kind of a feeling in you of just sort of letting go and dropping it and sort of uh, disconnecting from it um, so what I would do is I'd lay on lay on my bed and I would have my eyes closed talking to Holy Spirit and I would just start saying I surrender I surrender I let go and I just surrender and I let go and I let go and I surrender and you, maybe you start sighing and you you just kind of let it all go and um, and then I would find that I would if I would say that more quickly with no gaps in between it wouldn't give my mind enough time to keep holding on to stuff or to keep obsessing about things so then I would be like I surrender 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 and it just <laughs> it sort of causes you to just let go and when you are stressed and you have emotional turmoil going on in you what I started doing then as I was working with Holy Spirit would be Holy Spirit please help me to let go of this um, I don't want to have this upset please help me to heal this um, and what I used to think was that the, I knew the Holy Spirit was a was a being or an entity with a mind and a uh, intelligence and love, and that He could help me. And that, but I really wasn't sure whether He could actually do something on my behalf to actually heal me. I always thought that it was that I just sort of had to be willing to forgive and let things go and sort of be the one who does the correcting. Um, but as I got into this surrendering, and I was doing it quite often, um, I would find myself becoming more willing to allow and accept and let go of control and at the same time I started to become open to Holy Spirit please help me to heal and it gradually sort of developed and it's, I started to develop more trust and over time just found myself kind of naturally asking Holy Spirit to please heal me and started to have experiences of the Holy Spirit doing something in my system or in my body or my emotions or my mind or whatever. Um, and the key here is you have to invite the Holy Spirit into you. And it's not that he's not already there, because he is, but you as an ego are blocking him. So for, for your own benefit, in a sense, you have to be willing to invite him to participate in your process and so the way that I perceived that at the time was that I was inviting him to come into me into my body to help to heal the things that were that I was experiencing and he came in and things started to happen um, I would start to get like a shaking of my hand and I would feel a, a sort of an energy um, or maybe a foot a, I would feel some sort of a presence in my in my legs or um, and there was a, a video that I saw where somebody was saying you could ask Jesus to 
like in your stomach area, this is usually where you keep emotions. And it's sort of like a second brain. And a lot of neurological things go on there. Mm -hmm. And a lot of your feeling, a lot of your emotions and your upset is in that area. Um, they were saying if you, you could invite Jesus into your stomach area and that if you were willing, he will heal those feelings. And so I started practicing doing that a little bit and started having some experience of some relief. And so that develops more trust. And then um, just kept practicing the surrendering thing and it, it just grew into uh, a, a willingness not to be afraid of the Holy Spirit, a willingness to that's funny, um, a willingness to uh, let him come into my body and do something and that, that, that sort of meant a sort of a, a certain amount of trust and a certain amount of letting go and allowing and, and being willing to let that happen and not be freaked out <laughs> um, and it started to increase and so I would lay there and the more willing that I would be and especially if I would be willing to do a forgiveness about somebody it would show a willingness and that would sort of give Holy Spirit a signal that I was willing to uh, let go of stuff and then instead of it being all about me doing stuff he would actually start come in and start doing things <laughs> um, so it progressed to um, I would have shaking in hands and my legs would start shaking uh, and then my head would start shaking um, and then it, um, at times it, it seemed like it would start in my head area and my head would sort of shake or vibrate. And these were like, I guess they're side effects of whatever he's doing. I don't know what he's doing, but um, produces shaking and, and something clears up here. And then I feel a, a sort of a sucking down through my midsection as though there's a, there was an energy that sort of collapses down it goes away from me down into my stomach area and then my stomach area starts shaking like the bejesus um, <laughs> all the muscles start uh, contracting and twitching and things and when it's sometimes it's really strong and it really feels like a freaking earthquake <laughs> in my stomach area and abdomen um, uh, sometimes he will start with my feet for some reason. I'll start feeling a sort of a presence and an intensity and an, a sort of an electrical kind of energy in my feet and it will progress up my legs. My feet will sort of turn inwards. My knees will go inwards and there'll be this sort of tensing and, and vibrating up to my pelvis and then up to my stomach area and then sometimes that causes my it's sort of an alignment of my my legs will be straight and my pelvis is sort of aiming straight down or something and as soon as that happens sometimes I feel a draining like uh, whatever was in my emotions or whatever will drain down and out as if it's just being just just it's moving downwards and goes out of my legs or whatever um, and sometimes I'd have it where my uh, hand will shake. I'll try and do it as fast as I can. It's, it gets like that sometimes, um, or even more. And sometimes he'll produce shaking in certain body parts that I couldn't possibly shake on my own, like your lower back or something. I had a back pain, and I let him. I let him come into that area and do healing and received it and those lower back muscles were just shaking and twitching all over the place in ways that I can't even replicate um, 
I thought it was funny because I saw a car go past, a, a truck, a van go past, and it said Coolman in Industries on the side. And I don't know if you know, Catherine Coolman was a, a Christian lady who did a lot of miracles with the Holy Spirit. And uh, some videos on YouTube, Catherine Coolman with a K. Um, the truck went past, and I was just thinking about Holy Spirit, so it's kind of funny. Um, <clears throat> So what has happened for me now is that every single day of the week I experience this. Pretty much without fail, there's some way in which the Holy Spirit supernaturally heals me and helps me by whatever he does, whatever energy or light or life force or whatever he's doing, that causes side effects of shaking and things and muscle contractions and <laughs> bizarre stuff is capable of healing things, particularly emotions. Um, so if I'm if I'm getting upset and I need to cry and I I've always in the past years been a big crier, probably several times a week as part of my healing and my releasing um, particularly stimulated by exposure to truth um, in the course it would stir up a lot of emotions and now what happens is instead of having to cry as I become willing to cry and I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm going to allow myself to feel right at that second Holy Spirit suddenly begins to doing his thing and, and body parts start shaking and uh, those emotions get healed and then at the end I don't have to cry anymore. It's like I still do from time to time but even when I do the Holy Spirit says to me hey Paul you know you don't have to suffer you don't he quite often says let me and so I just allow and one of the parts to this also is is relaxing the body. Um, you probably haven't heard this much, but when your body is relaxed and you're not tense, you are sort of sending a signal to God and Holy Spirit saying that you're willing to receive. If you're tensed up and tight, you are sort of defending against things and you're blocking so just let your body relax. Sometimes he says to me, relax. Sometimes he says, surrender. Sometimes he says, let me. And so that, so for me now, that means that's sort of the sign that says, okay, I just relax, let go. And then all of a sudden, something starts happening and I start getting healed. Um... <clears throat> so I've never put this on camera and I was a bit unsure whether I wanted to share this but I asked Holy Spirit if he wanted to show this so he said yes so um, <clears throat> so right now up from about here upwards I have some emotion because um, I was having some healing yesterday and had some release and some tears. And I think it's sort of still a little bit residual here. It's sort of still releasing. So I'm just going to let Holy Spirit heal it.
And I can still talk while this is <laughs> happening, and I can actually stop it if I want to, but I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going to, because I'm just allowing, I'm just trying to relax and let him do whatever. <laughs> a good one. <sighs> Holy Spirit says, how do you feel? Um, <laughs> he says it's gone, and I do feel that emotion that was up in here, sort of up in my throat and up in my head, as Sometimes you'll say out, and <laughs> sometimes he says go because he's giving a command. <laughs> and I've never seen this on camera, so when I watch this back, I'm going to be like, oh my fucking god, <laughs> what is he doing? Um <sighs> Um <clears throat> I tried to make sure that I saved up some suffering <laughs> so that we'd have something to work on. So now I feel <coughs> happy and freed and relieved and Um, and uh, renewed. He gives you a feeling of <clears throat> just being healed and whole, like everything just becomes kind of softer and um, calmer and smoother and gentler, you just feel happier and more at peace again. <laughs> um, that was quite a, a big one. I, I've had bigger ones, but that was pretty big. Um, and this has come about simply through uh, it looks like being possessed, but it's not. I'm not being possessed by some evil thing. It's not. It's not a brain issue. It's not an illness. It's the Holy Spirit doing work to heal me in, in my body, in my emotions, in my mind. Um, 
and I've allowed him to do this. I've learned to trust him and to let him do this. Now, there's a prayer in the Course that talks about, I must have made a wrong decision because I'm not at peace. And um, I made the decision myself. And if I, if I, the Holy Spirit will undo the consequences of my wrong decision if I will let him. And in the past, when I would read that, I always thought it meant, okay, I do some steps and I, I become willing and I apply some forgiveness technique and then I sort of ask Holy Spirit to heal me or something. And nothing, I never really got a good sense of what that me entailed and how, how do you let him decide for God for you? What does that even mean? Um, and I, I sort of struggled with that because I couldn't really understand what it was getting at and what what was supposed to be this undoing of consequences. And it wasn't until I started doing this, inviting the Holy Spirit in and allowing him and trusting him and relaxing and letting him do whatever he wants to do. And you kind of have to really verbalize that and really mean it, that you are, you're willing to let him do anything that he wants to do in you and through you, otherwise you're getting in the way. That, just that surrendering and that trusting and letting go and allowing and, and wanting him to help you and asking him to help you and then just relaxing and allowing the help to come to receive just let yourself receive um, gave a whole new meaning to that prayer for me because all of a sudden it was the Holy Spirit will undo the consequences of my wrong decision if I'll let him so if I let him he isn't just some passive thing he's not just sitting in a cloud he isn't a metaphor or a concept he is a powerful being of light a Holy Spirit that is alive and lives forever as part of the Sonship and always will be part of the Sonship. He's not just a piece of your mind, he's not part of yourself, he's not um, sort of a figment of your mind, he is a being, he's a spiritual being that loves and thinks and heals and corrects problems and there's nothing that he cannot do there's nothing that his holiness cannot do he's capable of profound supernatural miracles um, and he's there to help you and his function is healing and your function shared with him is healing you're supposed to become cooperative with him to allow him to heal through you I will heal as he teaches me to heal or I let him teach me to heal it's two-sided. If I've got to let myself be healed and receive healing as part of my extension of that healing to others, um, so as you open up and let yourself be healed by Him, let Him do some work in you, you don't have to do this all by yourself. Um, he will come if you invite Him. And I've asked Him, why, why is this happening? And He says, because you invited me in. If you don't invite him in, how, how are you going to show a willingness that you're ready and willing to let him help you in those ways? And so for me now, that, that prayer now means whatever the consequences of my wrong decision are, whether it be that I've produced upset emotions or physical problems um, or a sickness, or whatever came from my wrong decisions, my faulty perceptions and my <clears throat> denials and self-attack, he can heal all of it for you. You don't have to do it all by yourself. And he's done physical things with me too, not just, not just healing emotions. Um, <clears throat> The other day I was making a video and I did a video, recorded video for like three hours or something and my throat was getting so tense from nervousness and not sitting well or whatever I was doing and I had all this tension and I was starting to get sinus drainage from from whatever resonance in the chambers of the, of the head and so I had to go away and I said, okay, Holy Spirit, please heal me. 
and it's gotten for me now it's gotten to the point where I barely even need to invite him to do anything I can just almost sort of induce it myself by Like that, <laughs> by just um, sort of feeling this, 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 it's almost like there's a something that slightly impresses upon me or descends into me a little bit, and I can just sort of start getting into that feeling, and it can, it's it's enough of a signal. And sometimes I don't even have to give an indication at all. Now we've developed enough trust to the point where. Sometimes he will just suddenly, spontaneously do this in the middle of tra traffic. <laughs> Driving down the street at night, your head's shaking, and all the little lights on the cars and the lampposts will su suddenly start blurring <laughs> and turning into streaks because uh, my head's shaking and stuff, and uh, I have to be careful. <laughs> <clears throat> so I asked him for healing like that and then he he removed all the neck tension in my neck and freed up my voice and then I was able to make another video right away and have no problems um, he's removed headaches and I had a release one day where emotion, emotions were coming out and it came out through a spot in my upper back and produced a lot of pain and he told me how this was releasing and yet at the same time I allowed him to heal he shook this area and took probably 75-80% of the pain away uh, he's done healing on my eyes I uh, removed headaches, he's removed sinus pressure and congestion that I get from eating too much ice cream because <laughs> I like dairy products but I tend to react to them and also chocolate he's removed chocolate headaches that I get um, my, I get this pressure up in here and he just, he can <laughs> make it go <laughs> And um, what else have we, have we done? And it's it's also extending now to the point where I can put my hand on somebody, like on my wife, and say she has like a leg cramp or some pain or something. Um, Holy Spirit suddenly starts doing His thing in me. I start shaking. Nothing yet happens with her. It almost seems like I'm getting charged. Like I'm filling up with whatever his energy is or whatever it is. <coughs> and and then that will stop and then all of a sudden my hand will start shaking and my arm muscles become tight and it very intense and the energy or whatever I had accumulated now passes into her and helps to heal her physical problem. Um, it's, it's, it's become a way to heal. There's other ways you can do miracles directly and indirectly and also through touching someone. Um, <clears throat> this is one of the gifts of God. And I asked Jesus once, why, why is this happening? How is it that I've been able to get to this strange, bizarre thing that I almost have to try to hide from people? <laughs> and it's funny because I'll, it'll be happening as I'm driving and stuff, and then a person will come past and it will suddenly stop. Because Holy Spirit sort of respects that I don't want to be embarrassed. And it'll stop, and then it'll pick up again after. <laughs> um, and this happens every day. I get this every single day. There's some amount of healing that I receive from the Holy Spirit where He does shaking or energizing or whatever it is. 
that brings me a lot of relief, and I think it's, it's accelerating my awakening because it's making my recovery from emotional releases and rebounds and stress and uh, struggles with other people and arguments and whatever, it's enabling me to recover from these things much more quickly um, so that I can sort of get back on my feet and then go again and, and take in more truth. So it's actually saving me a lot of time it's collapsing time. This is where it's miraculous. Um, <clears throat> um, so I encourage you to try this, and I think Holy Spirit just wanted me to make this video to suggest to people that you can also do this. This is not something special to me. Um, and he would love to help you. He would love to be able to be invited in and for you to receive him. He's already in you, but you've, um, you sort of need to, to be willing and give permission. He's not going to do things to you that would scare you against your will, which is why you, you kind of develop it slowly. Maybe start out just allowing him to do a little thing. Uh, and a little part of the body or help you with a certain feeling or something and then over time you will develop trust and you will you become more willing to allow him to do bigger stuff through you um, and he he's he says he's excited to be given the opportunity to heal um, he says let me let me be the one to release you from pain and torture. Allow me in. I'm willing and able. There's nothing that we cannot heal together. Your mind is open. Just relax. Uh, invite me to help you and be willing to let go just as Paul did, and I will come, and together we will, you will be set free. <clears throat> and thank you. So please do give it a try. It is very, very, very helpful and worth trying, um, even if you don't get a I don't think I didn't have this to begin with. I had to do a bunch of surrendering and letting go and uh, releasing and, and stop being controlling and just telling myself I surrender. I let go, I surrender, I give up. And sort of getting yourself ready to... Because what happens when you do that is you're sort of letting go of control so that you can be helped. You're making room for God. Uh, you're setting aside some area of your life that you're allowing God to have power over and to help you with. You're, you're sort of giving room, making space for uh, letting part of your life be affected by and healed by and helped by the Holy Spirit. Um, and that means putting aside some ego because ego wants to just run the whole show and say this is my life and I'm going to direct everything that that's what the surrendering helps you is to let go of of that control and that desire to constantly be the one who decides everything and chooses everything by yourself and um, so as you as you make room for the Holy Spirit and you invite him into your life and into yourself he literally can come into yourself, into your body, your mind, your feelings, and help you on every level, uh, even physical. He can heal physical sickness this way. Um, you don't have to suffer. If you um, just develop some trust, be willing. He's more than willing and able. It's, he's just waiting on you. <laughs> um... So good luck, and I hope that you 
are able to have some experiences with this and find some relief and some help and to know that you're not alone and you don't have to do all this course by yourself. It's not a mental exercise. You can get help, be healed, receive healing and help from heaven and recognize that you are a co-creator with God and um, he has sent the Holy Spirit to help you with this problem. He is He is the answer. He's the solution. He's the 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 cavalry that's come to set you free so you don't have to do this all yourself it doesn't have to be all about your your forgiveness and your efforts um, although those things show him that you have willingness and they also are invitations to him to help you but if you don't get to the point where you um, sort of deliberately ask him to come in and do stuff on his own and be open to that and, and allow it, then you you probably will not experience that he can do this. So uh, it does depend on your free will. Um, so there you go. Hopefully I didn't look too insane while I was <laughs> getting healed. And <clears throat> this is going to continue for me every day. And, uh, and it's really helping me on my path and waking up and not having to suffer, not having to cry, not having to be unhappy, not having to tolerate and put up with suffering. This is the Holy Spirit's message that you you don't have to stay in suffering. You can get out of it much sooner than you've been used to being able to get out of it. Um, and just if you just allow the receiving of God's help, the, there's total total help there and it can it, it can do it all for you <laughs> kind of makes it easier so thanks for watching and hopefully I didn't uh, scare you off and God bless and see you soon